Hello? Yeah, I'm calling about the large elm logs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. How large are those logs? Uh, they're approximately from 36 to 40 inches across on the diameter. Mm-hmm. Did you cut and them down yourself? It, yeah. What, where'd you cut them down at? In the back of a property I own on in in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Did you know those logs were endangered? Oh, they were dead. Mm-hmm. They had died. Not the logs are endangered. I believe they're endangered work. log species. I don't know. My name is Dr. Danger. Patton Fox. Okay. Logologist. They're, okay, well, I don't know if they're endangered. What does that mean? That means the they tree. are a rare species of log, known as logarologists. All right. Well, what but does that? Is there a problem with that? Yes. They, they, I would the tree died. The log. Hmm. I would have to bring over my microscope sheet bag, and my my little needle form bag, and I would have to yeah. inspect them. And what would we do with them? We'll have to send samples off to Spain. Spain. Mm-hmm. And what does that mean? Yeah, we'll just we'll just have to see. Should I cut it in one big piece then? How many pieces did you cut it up into? Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, well, right now I got like, well, you know, the tree was huge. Oh Lord, it could have spread. And, huh? It could have spread. The moss. Did it have any moss on it? All the bark fell off of it. Oh no! It could have had it, it could have had barkiosis. Are you well, there was a barkiosis? No, I, I'm not sure of barkiosis. I've never heard of that. It's when the bark gets osmosis and falls off. Yeah. Well, what I had was um, a barn fire. The barn near it caught on fire and it scalded it. Did any of the ash from the barn get on the tree? I would think so. Yes, this sounds like um, barkiosis. And then I will come there the, with a toolkit. I beg your pardon? I will come there with a toolkit, 45 large dump trucks and my How many? Manager, 45 large dump trucks, and we will dig up your backyard, and we will check for barkiosis. And my friend, Phil, Phil Harmony, he will come. He is my co-worker here at the Foundation for Triologists in Bridgeton. He will come, and he will check, too. Do what? We will, be, um, we will be there soon, and what I need you to do is I need you to go and get the logs and assemble them in a T formation and so we can, you know, possibly check for barkiosis and assemble, assemble a band of dispatchers and take them and get the samples and get everything sorted and sent to Spain and check to see if the moss has barkiosis. Okay. And we're... And what are you going to do with the logs? I don't know. I don't know yet. We have to see where the logs have been and where the logs have <clears throat> metabolized in the central location of the barkiosis and everything. Uh, could you uh, give me some information, please, so I can uh, record this and make sure I understand no. this correctly? Um, what will happen is I'll be there in about five minutes. Thanks. I need I listen. Well, I'm I need over to know your name. Right. I need to know the organization. Yes, I'm from the Foundation of Triologists in New Jersey. I'm sending over 42 drunk, dump trucks right now, sir. So we'll 42? Yeah. Do you have authority to do that? Yes, the Triologist Association of America. You're going to show me documentation of that? We have ample documentation, sir. We're on our way. Okay. Listen, yeah, but I need documentation. We have many papers, sir. Many papers. You're going to bring them to me? Yes. Now, I need you to go outside right now and assemble them elm logs in a T formation. 
a T formation. I can't do that. You need to put it in a T formation. If they're not in a T formation, there could be a transponder issue with a barkiosis. Are you kidding me? No, sir. I'm There's not. no bark on them. I said barkiosis. It goes down to the root of the molecules of the tree. What's, can you spell that, please? B A R K O S I S S. There's an extra S to pronounce the barkiosisness of the situation. B A R K I O S I S. And what did you say your name was? Patton, Dr. Patton Fox of the Triology Association of Bridgeton, New Jersey. Could you repeat the name again? Dr. Dr. Patton Fox. P A P A T O F O X. So we're sending over 42 dump trucks. And what? Uh, request me, uh, sir, by federal geologist laws. Please, please, please. No, Come by on. federal geologist laws. You're coming on too fast. To permission to record me. By federal geologist laws. You do not have my permission to record me. If you recorded me, that is a offense. That is mandated by the Triologist Association of America, and it is now null and void. What's null and void? Any recordings. You have to stop now. I'm not recording you. Okay. Well, I have to go. I'm recording it on a piece of paper. Let me just give me your name for your uh, uh, triology. Yes. I'm sending over Phil Harmony, my my manager, 42 dump trucks, and an archaeologist team, and we're going to see what's happening. What are you going to do? Dig up the roots? We're going to have to dig up the backyard, sir. I'm sending them over right now. Thanks. Well, you don't have to get permission we, from the landlord next door. So it's no, because it's, it's on the Jersey does not need permission from anybody but God, sir. Triology Association? The bridge to New Jersey does not need permission from anybody but God, sir. Are you... Um, Registered with the state of New Jersey? We're registered with God, sir. With God? Yes. We are the Triologist Association of Richmond, New Jersey, sir. Um, I don't understand. College tree heads, sir. What's that? Um, sir, I went, I went to school for one year for this degree, sir. I am a doctor. Don't question my authority, sir. Um... Well, we'll be over there soon. I am. I am questioning it. Sir, sir, sir. We'll be over there soon. I'm sending 42 dump trucks. Three metal 42 platforms. dump trucks. Now, why would you do that? Because it's going to take that much. We have to dig that deep, sir. You're going to dig that deep. Okay. Um, um, we'll, you're going to fill the holes? Yes, we'll fill them with when sand, you're done? sir. We have enough sand left over. We'll fill them with sand. So we'll fill them with beach sand, and you'll have a little beach patio in the back. Will that make you happy? Because the sand neutral. No, no, sand is not a good thing back there. We cannot put soil back down because the barkiosis. We'll have to put sand, sir. Well, there's a problem with that. That's uh, along an alleyway where cars and and such um, travel all the time. Well, there's the only one stand, option that you don't want sink. sand, sir. We can only use banana peels. Because banana peels? I, yeah. That's are, you, are you for real? Yes. 